Bob Ross. Euh, je vais recréer, enfin je vais essayer de suivre plutôt euh, une, euh, une vidéo euh, de Bob Ross. Du coup celle que j'ai choisie c'est Golden Race of Sunshine. C'est la saison 28 épisode 4. Mais là, il avait son, son tableau déjà tout peint en noir, du coup c'est ce que j'ai fait. Retail, and I've just got a little plastic tray here that I that I picked up, and I'm just going to dip a paper towel, see, right into a little bit of gesso, and let's go right up here. First thing we want to do is figure out where our light source is, and all you have to do, maybe it's right here, just a little bit off center. Start with the lightest area and begin working outward. See, maybe this is a joy of paper towel painting. We go a little bit more. Notice I always start back in the center with that brightest color. And if you get little buildups of gesso here, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. When the painting's finished, those little high points will grab the paint and it makes beautiful things happen. Don't fight with them. All right, a little bit more, and wherever. And if you do a thousand of these, each one of them will be different. But what's so great about them, once again, even if you've never, never painted a painting in your whole life, this is one that you can do. Once again, with this gesso, we don't make any mistakes. Because if you if you paint an area too light and you don't like it, all you have to do is take a little of the dark gesso and go back over it. It's no big deal. Now normally, if I was at home doing this, I would allow this to dry. It doesn't take but a few minutes since this is gesso. I'd allow it to dry before I started the next thing. But here we don't have that luxury, so I'll just show you how you go about putting the next layer on. We'll just pretend that it's dry. But when you're doing this yourself, I'd really recommend you allow this step to dry completely before you do the next one. It's just. Je suis en plein milieu, je vais avoir un mental breakdown. Like gesso, just load it up. J'ai pas ça, moi. Je prends ça. And we go up in here, and we have to make our first major decision. Where appears does our tree live? All you do is touch, and as you work down, apply more pressure, more pressure, and automatically your tree trunk will get larger toward the base. There's no secrets here. Now I'm going to start going into some of the gray gesso, because these over here, they're farther away from the light, so when we're done, the gray gesso will be a little bit brighter. And we can go right into pure white. There. But see, the variation, that's all there is to it. Maybe we'll just do a couple of white ones here so you can see how they're done. We've painted the whole forest here in just a second. Little script liner brush. It's just our regular little script liner brush. And I'm going to add water. I'm going to use water like we normally do paint thinner, just to thin the gesso. So it's nice and thin. Okay, then we can go up in here and we can decide there's always little baby trees living amongst all these big ones. So we can put little, little delicate trees and sticks and twigs. If you have enough water, this will just slide right over it. There. And we can begin, we can begin applying all kinds of little limbs and arms on these trees, wherever you think they should live. That's exactly where they should be. There we go. See that? <laughs> Start at the top. And all we're doing in reality is putting a glaze right over the top of our gesso. Isn't that fantastic? 
This makes some of the most gorgeous little paintings. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a deep blue. Now the edges of it, I'm gonna take a little Prussian blue. Prussian blue is much stronger than phthalo blue. It's very, very strong. Take a little of the Prussian blue and just do the corners. In order to make this look lighter, you need to make the corners look darker. And we'll accomplish that just like so. All right, and that's as far as I'm going with that. Now maybe, let's see here, I've got several brushes going. And I'm gonna start right in here. Eh, we'll just cover the whole thing, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna be bright green, but it'll give the indication to the eye that there's green there. Now, if you want it bright green, you can use sap green, which is a very transparent green, or you can just allow more of the blue to come down, either way. I want this to be the darkest, so we'll start here and work upward. There, so it'll give it a very dark look back in there. And you bring it up to wherever you want it to stop. But isn't that gorgeous? And it's so easy. Once again, if you've never painted in your whole life, this is one you're to try. This is one you're to try. Because you can't make a mistake with it. It's so easy. In my world, I think it's right behind this limb here. Start right over the limb. Because once again, to me, it, when you look at the sun that bright, it's like it just burns right through that tree branch. And, you can't see it, it's probably something in your eyes. I'll have to get an optometrist to explain all that to me, but, but this is the way I see it. There, but just go right over it. But look at that sun coming through there now. Now anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. And in your world you should be able to do anything that you wanna do the eyes. Sometimes, sometimes it's fun to make like light rays zinging through there. It, well, it's easier to show you. All you got to do is just decide where it lives. See, touch it and then give it a little pull because you're not going to destroy anything. And that easy. See, see the light coming right through those trees? See, just wherever. Look at it. That easy. Isn't that exciting? You know, I've painted thousands of paintings, and I'm sorry I get so excited about this, but it amazes me how beautifully this works. There, and maybe even, I don't know, wherever. You make the decision, but that easy. You can have a painting that's just, I'm gonna sign this little rascal. We'll sign it up here so you can see it. And with that, I think we about have a finished painting. Du coup, voilà. Euh, bon, bah, en fait, je sais pas si j'aime ce que j'ai fait ou pas. Enfin, bref, au moins j'aurais essayé quoi. <coughs> Je vous dis à bientôt dans une nouvelle vidéo et euh, si la vidéo vous a plu, euh, laissez un, un like, abonnez-vous, activez la petite cloche et voilà. Et si euh, vous voulez euh, voir euh, ce que je fais d'autre euh, en dessin, en peinture, machin et tout ça, euh, tout est sur, enfin tout, euh, ceux que je préfère sont sur euh, mon Instagram qui sera dans la description comme pour mon Twitter, voilà, et puis bah à la prochaine, au revoir en plein milieu je vais avoir un mental breakdown